What we're gonna talk about tonight is pillar talking. The number one detriment to all relationships is not even being fatal. It's not even allowing your woman to take control of the situation. The number one detriment in all relationships is pillar talking. The majority of men who suffer with loss in their divorces, it's because of pillar talking. What exactly does pillar talking mean? You see, we equate pillar talking with the pillar, with being in bed, with laying down, but no. I just had a chick try to pillow talk me on the phone tonight. Pillow talking is when you open your mind, open your spirit, open your intellect, and give a woman free reign to the information that resides there. Now, the most times it is done is when you're in your weakest state. And one of the weakest states any of us ever finds ourselves in is immediately following an ejaculation. So here's the term pillow talking when all of our energy has been drained from us temporarily and we're there and we're cuddling and we're talking. Running our mouths about things that we would not normally discuss. So the number one reason for pillar talking is that you talk too damn much. Pillar talking doesn't take place if you don't talk too much. You see, if you share too much information doing pillar talking, you are sharing too much information during normal times as well. Let me tell you how this goes. Huh? What we need to get into is this idea that men have that your woman should be your confidant. You see, I was talking to a chick earlier about this, man, and she asked me, why don't you want your woman to be your friend? Don't you think your woman should be your friend? I was like, hell no, my woman shouldn't be my friend. I don't want to have the type of interaction with my friend that I have with my woman. Your woman is not supposed to be your friend. You don't want to build that type of intimate connection with a friend. Let me tell you something, man. We know we talk about alpha energy. Life is about energy. You don't mix friend energy with intimate energy. They're two different energies. You never want the friend energy to go intimate. You never want the intimate energy to go friendly. They're two different energies, two different vibes, two different connections. So you never, the full force had a song about friends before we're lovers. You hear it all the time. Friends before, you don't want to be friends before your lovers. You don't want your lover to be your friend, homie. You don't want your woman to be your friend. You don't want her to be your homegirl. You don't want to do the same things that you would do with a friend with your woman. Because you damn sure want to do the same thing with your friends that you would do with your woman. The whole friend concept, man, is foolish. If you go, see, friend has a zone of its own. It's called the friend zone. So if you are friends with your woman, you are trying to be in a relationship with somebody that's in the friend zone, homie. It don't make a bit of sense to me. Not even a little bit. So when you think about the concept of you trying to be all of these things, you see, I tell a woman like this, man. Whoever is your friend when I meet you, they should stay your friend. Whoever is your confidant when I meet you, they should continue to be your confidant. Whoever is the shoulder that you cry on when I met you, they should continue to be the shoulder that you cry on. Whoever is the one that you go to when you need some time away, when you just need to talk, when you just need to relax, keep going to them. I don't want any of those responsibilities. Don't come putting all that burden on me to take care of all of those things. I don't want to take care of all of them. It ain't my responsibility. And I ain't going to take them on. But you have allowed yourself to be put in a situation where you wear all of those different hats, 
She wants you to be a friend. She wants you to be a confidant. She wants you to be a lover. She wants you to be a baby daddy. She wants you to be the one that help her raise her kids. That's not the baby daddy. She wants you to be the other dude. She wants you to be the main dude. She wants you to be the side dude. She wants you to be the big brother. She wants you to be her daddy. Then other times she wants you to be her son. Come on, man. You only got one head. How the hell are you going to put all them hats on your one head, brother? Let's talk about how pillar talking would be the downfall of your relationship. As I stated, the majority of men in the United States of America are in relationships. There are a few of us who are not, but even those of us who are not, if the right submissive woman who hadn't been tempered with sexually by another man comes along, we will find ourselves in the midst of a relationship. Myself included. We are not against relationships. We are against relationships as they are currently constructed in this society based on these laws and stipulations that control a man's ability to be able to dictate the environment of his household. As I stated before, number one is the number one downfall of pillar talking is it simply indicates that you talk too damn much. You share too much. Every time you get a little bit of money, you share it with them. Every time you get a promotion at the job, you share it with them. Every time you get an idea for a business, you share it with them. Every time you have a positive interaction with someone, you share it with them. Every time you have a negative interaction with someone, you share it with them. Every time you have a, a breakthrough with your parents, you share it with them. Every time you have any little thought, you share it with them. Every time you have an opinion on something, you share it with them. Don't you understand you talk too much? Don't you understand you sharing too much? What makes you think she should be your confidant? I said again, what makes you think she should be your confidant? You talk too damn much, brother. That is your number one problem. You talk too much. You talk to her too much. You really and truly believe that she values the thing you're telling her just because they're coming from you. No, she values them because they're information that you have allowed her to be privy to. Now she knows things that she didn't previously know. Ask yourself deep down inside. Do you think it's going to benefit you in the long run of the short one? I'm not telling you this is a negative thing about women. I'm telling you that this is their nature, homie. We're not talking about are they good or bad right now. We are talking about their nature, the things you must accept about them whether she's a virgin or a neurosurgeon or just a chick who likes splurging you must know these things about her brother it is mandatory that you know these things number two you don't understand that she'll use your emotional vulnerability against you not because she's bad but because she's wired to use your emotional vulnerability against you. She will figure out how to push you to every emotional space she wants you to be in because your pillar talking will allow her to understand the types of things that put you in those emotional spaces. She will become privy to your buttons and not only your buttons, but the way she needs to push them in order to invoke a particular response from you that is the first step in her emotional control of you and as we stated before once she controls you mentally she controls you once she controls you emotionally she controls you mentally and once she controls you both emotionally and mentally she controls you spiritually so get ready to go to church every sunday and you better not miss a day because that's what your life is coming to brother she will use that emotional vulnerability to make you do what she wants you to do, not only for her, but for her family, for her friends, for everyone she deems worthy of special treatment. You will be her puppet because she knows that you can be controlled emotionally simply because you have pillow talk and ran your damn mouth too much. But that's not all. The number three thing that you must understand about pillow talking is that she doesn't care about your emotional issues. 
Man, women don't care what you go through emotionally. I don't care how long you've been with your woman. She is not wired to care about you emotionally. She's wired to care about her own emotions. So sharing her emotions with you is simply going to push her further into her own emotions. Let me tell you what you must do. Stay out of your emotions so you can get into hers. Because if you're in yours, believe me, she's going to get into them as well. And once she get into them, brother, she will control you emotionally. The worst thing that can ever happen to you as a man in a relationship is if your woman starts to control you emotionally. Because her control will not be fair. It will not serve you any purpose, brother. It would be a detriment to your entire existence. That is when relationships take a downfall, when you allow yourself to be controlled emotionally. And one of the first steps in a, being controlled emotionally is to honestly believe that she cares about your emotional issues. She don't care if you're happy, if you sad, if you're mad, if you're glad. She only cares what you can make her feel emotionally. And when you share your emotions with her, when you share your negative emotions with her, she doesn't like that. Because it makes her fall into her negative emotional space as well. These are the things you must understand if you want to navigate a relationship. If you are not a man who can afford to just say, I'm out of here, I'm leaving everything behind. If there are children involved, if there are financial ties that can't be easily broken, you are planning on staying in your relationship. And what I'm telling you is even if the situation seems dire, you do not have to continue to be a beta male in your relationship, but you must correct some things. There are some things that you must correct. And one of those things is forgetting the idea that she cares about your emotional issues. Even if she acts like she cares, it is an act. Remember, we talk about her Oscar-worthy acting skills all of the time. It is an act. She does not care about your emotional issues. It is no fault of hers. We're not saying it as a negative thing. We're saying it as a thing that is. You must accept the way she is and not allow yourself to do things that are detrimental to you based on that understanding. The number four thing that you must remember, this is the main reason she doesn't care about your emotional issues. She doesn't want to know your emotional issues. And this is why you don't want to expose her to your emotions. Be emotionally unavailable because emotional vulnerability represents femininity in women's mind. When you are all in your emotions and sharing your emotional turmoil with her and sharing your emotional ups and downs with her, she views you like you are a woman because she is not used to men using her as an emotional sponge. She is not equipped to be an emotional sponge. She is an emotional bucket of water she can't soak up your emotions. She can only pour hers into you. And you must understand these things, man. Your emotional availability makes you look like a woman to her. So when she cries, if you cry with her, you know, the OJs had a song. Last night, me and my woman, we cry high, high, high. Together, we can't cry with her, man. We cry together, and then we, and then we, and then we make love. Now, we ain't trying to do that, man. We ain't the OJs. That ain't what we're trying to do, homie. Keep your mouth closed. Keep it closed, homie. It will never benefit you to share these things with her ever. Every single step of the way, every single step of the way, she will view your emotional vulnerability as a feminine quality. And anytime she views you with feminine quality, she cannot respect, revere, and submit to you as a man. And that's what a relationship is all about. Her submission, reverence, and respect. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. The number five thing that makes pillow talking so detrimental to you, man, 
to your relationship, to your interaction with your woman in the relationship that you're in and you plan on being in long term. See, you have to understand the reason you don't ever have to tell her about any new money, any one of the main reasons, there are many, one of the main reasons you never share her about with any new money you've got, any increase in revenue, any type of windfall of money you've got, because it don't matter if she knows about it. Because let me tell you what I tell women all the time. Just told a woman this the other day. What's yours is mine and what's mine is mine, but everything that's mine, I share with you. So you ain't got to worry about what I got because everything I got is mine and everything that you got is mine. But it don't matter if I share it with you anyway. That's what your mindset has to be, man. You ain't got to tell her about no new money because it's your money. Hell, her money is your money. And like the homie Devontae Swing said, don't talk, just listen. That's all you do, man. Instead of talking, you tell her, come and talk to me. I really want to see you, girl. I really want to know your name. That's what you tell her, man. You don't want to talk. You want her to talk. You want to flap your ears while she's spilling it to you. Let her give up all the good game. You keep yours to yourself. Use it sparingly, homie. I am telling you the truth about these things, man. These, this is the alpha truth of life we're talking about here, man. You are pedestalizing her too much when you pillow talk. Because you are treating her like she deserves to know your inner more. What makes her so special? What makes her so renowned? What makes her so knowledgeable? What makes her so worthy of knowing your innermost thoughts? She doesn't deserve to know your innermost thoughts, man. She doesn't deserve to know that. She does not deserve to know your innermost thoughts, man. Who is she? Who is she for you to dig down deep and share your innermost things? Things, man, you know, man, a lot of men in a relationship share things with their woman they ain't never shared with nobody else. Out of all the people you know in your life, man, what make her so special? You're going to share some shit with her you ain't never shared with nobody else. Explain that to me. Help me understand why she's so great that you're going to share something with her that you ain't never shared with nobody else. People you've been knowing your whole damn life, you ain't told them about it, but you're going to share it with her? Come on, man. Think, homie. Pillar talking will be the downfall of your relationship. If you pillar talk, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when your understanding with your woman will be destroyed, man. And you can't bounce back from it. Once she views you as a weakling, once she views you as a feminine brother, you can't bounce back from it. The relationship is over at that point. And a relationship ending isn't the worst thing in the world, but if you are benefiting from a scenario and you want to be in that scenario, why in the world would you just allow your own actions to be the end of it. If she does something that crosses a line that you have to end the relationship, so be it. But why allow your own actions to be the reason that the relationship ends because you're being feminine, running your mouth, pillow talking about everything you know, homie. There are some things that some men swore they take to the grave, but because they talk too much, they let those things out when they were pillow talking, man. It's always gonna come back to bite you, homies. It's always going to come back to bite you. Always. And I'll tell you why. You can't trust her with your secrets if shit ever hits the fan. All of your secrets that you've shared with her are now ammunition for her. Pillar talking does not just define you sitting up running your mouth, just exposing her eyes to things that her eyes should not be privy to is the equivalent of pillar talking, man. She cannot be trusted when the emotional connection changes, man. For as much as she is your woman that has your back right now, she will be your enemy and be at your throat if things hit the fan in a way that she's not pleased with. So if you're going to give her ammo, you might as well give her a loaded gun, put bullets in it, and go ahead and say, go ahead and take me out. Because it's the same thing you're doing when you're sitting there running your mouth. It's the book about for running, man, homie. Read it or weep.